to Iran. And what this president has done is diametrically opposite, working with our allies, working with Israel, negotiating a historic peace agreement like hasn't been seen in a quarter of a century. So when you work with our allies, when you engage in diplomacy, when you have a great deal maker as president, uh, you get deals like what we saw today and it's stark contrast to what we saw from the previous administration. Yes. Does the president share former Vice President Biden's view that annexation would virtually end any chance of a two-state solution that would secure Israel's future as a Jewish and democratic state and uphold the right of Palestinians to a state of their own? That yes. So. Um, I'm not going to go any further into um, the state of Middle East peace. I'd refer you to NSC on that. But today we're focusing on the historic agreement that's been made. Yes. Uh, is, was the president aware about these uh, two dozen letters between him and Chairman Kim that apparently are going to be published in the new Bob Woodward book? Did he sign off on that? Um, I haven't even looked into that or spoken to him about that. We're focused today on providing relief to the American people and the historic deal. Mario. Thank you, Kaylee. Will the president's executive order on WeChat block uh, Apple from distributing that app on their platform? And if so, what does the administration say about concerns that it could be kneecapping an American company and uh, diminishing its uh, competitiveness? So the um, only remarks I have for you today on TikTok and WeChat are this. The president, he signed those two executive orders exercising his authority under the International Emergency Economic Powers Act uh, to address the threats posed by TikTok and WeChat. Uh, the administration is committed to protecting the American people from all cyber threats, and these apps collect significant amounts of private data on users and such information can be accessed and used by the PRC. Um, and TikTok has a documented history of censoring free speech to conform to CCP propaganda. And we take the data um, of Americans very seriously. One other thing I wanted to clear up um, is that Speaker Pelosi